Shower, Inspector. Dharma, I'm going to be late for work. I'm sorry about that, sir, but I have a job to do. <laughs> so I'll be a little late. Uh-huh, you're going to be a lot late. Uh, 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 hang on, it's open my eye. Hey, look at that, you've got a gray hair. Where? Not out there, in here. Ow! Got it! Hey, it's got a buddy. Leave the buddy, leave the buddy. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Rick Sanderson. I have an appointment to see Greg Montgomery. So he's expecting you? Yeah, I assume so. I have an appointment. So you're not sure? No, I was, I was kind of making a joke. Sir, this is a security area. There's no joking. Also, I didn't get it. When you make an appointment, that means somebody's expecting you. Okay, well, now you've completely changed your story, haven't you? Is there a problem here? No, no, everything's fine, Chief. Code orange. Code orange. Yeah, I'm Rick Sanderson. I went to the same law school as Greg Montgomery. I made an appointment to see him through the Alumni Association, so he is expecting me. This is the third story he's told me. Morning, Larry. Walter. Hey, Greg. Oh, Greg Montgomery? You don't have to answer that. I'm Rick Sanderson. Oh, great. Uh, come on up. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to see me, Mr. Montgomery. Oh, please, call me Greg. My, my dad's Mr. Montgomery. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, cancel code orange. Resume code green. Yeah, so, but the, the coolest thing was is Mr. Montgomery let me sit in on a meeting with the legal department. You really can call me Greg. Right, I'm sorry. It's just how I was brought up. It's not because you're old or anything. He's getting there. Did you tell him what I found in the shower this morning? It didn't come up, Dharma. So does your wife know that she's married to a legend? Oh, sure, that part of the shower story you tell him. <laughs> I imagine he's talking about something else. Yeah, see, every <clears throat> fall, the third year law students do something to freak out the first years. So the story is Greg passed out fake campus maps at orientation. So everyone looking for constitutional law wound up at the communication <laughs> arts building. <laughs> They're still talking about that, huh? Oh, it's ancient history. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> Well, anyway, I, I should um, probably get going. Thanks for dinner and everything. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, let me know if there's uh, anything else I can do. Yeah, just don't call in the afternoon, because that's when he takes his nap. Um, I said, that's when you take your nap. Thanks again, dear. See you later. <laughs> Come on, you're not really upset, are you? No, I'm just grumpy. I'm a grumpy old guy. <laughs> I mean, you're not old. You can't tease real old guys, because they yell and shake their canes at you. <laughs> I know you're teasing, but that kid out there giving me the business seriously thinks I'm an old guy. You think maybe it's because you say things like giving me the business? All right, all right, the kid that was dissing me. Dissing? Ooh, it's hammer time. Oh, um, right? Yeah? How long has this bronze army guy been in here? So you don't put it in Ziploc or something, it can get crusty. I don't believe this. I've been Eisenhowered. Rick must have snuck this in through the back door when he came in here to get water. Okay. Why? No, I, when I was in law school, there was this club, and we used to play this crazy game, and apparently they still do. I'll bet he got the glory schnauzer. Let's not jump to any conclusions. The, the glory schnauzer is that little ceramic doggy lighter, and, and, and it's like the trophy, you know? And the guy who has it is the big dog, and I had it for like 10 years. Wow. Okay, just for the record, I married you without even knowing you were the big dog. Well, I'm not anymore. That little punk. Well, now, coming in here, taking your little glory schnauzer, giving you the business. <laughs> Let's get him back! Well, Dharma, it's not that easy. This game has very specific rules invented by very drunken law students. <laughs> we have 23 hours to switch it back. We have to be invited into the victim's home. And because it's the re-Eisenhower, which is the response to the Eisenhower, I'd have to get a photo of Rick with the head in front of the Jamaican flag. The Jamaican flag? Yeah, not all the guys were drunk. <laughs> Sounds like a 
blast. Let's do it. Well, it's, you know, I used to have fun doing this when I was in law school, but I also had fun, you know, playing the I object drinking game in moot court. I'm, I'm, I'm grown up now. Come on, great. You play games, you play golf, you play tennis. Last night we played Pizza Boy at the women's prison. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm not going to do this. Why? Because I've got two gray hairs. Ah, just one now. <laughs> Besides, I think it makes you look distinguished. Sorry I'm late. I was making really good time, so I just kept going. <laughs> Whatever. I hit all the green lights. You can't pass up a thing like that. Finkelstein, it doesn't matter. You can come in late, you can come in early, you can sleep here, you can stay home. It really doesn't matter what you do. Wow. You are a very nice man. No, actually, I'm a bit of a bastard. But with you, my hands are tied. Why? Because your daughter is married to Ed Montgomery's son. Go on. Whoa. Welcome, big dog. Say hello to your Glory Schnauzer recovery team. Never mind. I thought I'd made it pretty clear that I've hung up the schnauzer. You can't hang up a schnauzer that you don't have, Greg. Now hear me out, ladies. Now, Rick Sanderson lives in a four-story apartment building on Post Street. According to reliable sources, at 6.30, Rick leaves for an hour workout at the gym. At 6.31, Marcy will approach the doorman. She's hysterical. She lost her grandmother's brooch in the bushes. At that moment, Simone will walk by and relieve the doorman of his keys. Wait a minute. Dharma, it's not that easy to pick someone's pocket. <laughs> Simone hands the keys off to Pete. Pete and Susan enter the building. Using the stolen keys, Pete and Susan enter apartment 4C, directly above Rick's apartment. The occupants are away on their honeymoon. The woman in 4B gives it six months max. <laughs> Pete and Susan now place the Eisenhower head into a hollowed out panda doll, which they attach to a rope and take into the bathroom. By this time, Rick is back. He is stopped by Simone. I'm going dancing tonight with my girlfriends, and I can't decide which is sexier, my low-cut cashmere sweater or my sheer blouse. Could you help me decide? <laughs> they agree she'll come to his apartment to model the outfits later. Rick looks forward to this. <laughs> Rick suspects nothing as he passes the neighborhood bag lady, Ruby. Or is it Ruby? The pigeon is in the building. <laughs> Now, for reasons we don't fully understand, Rick owns a large, stuffed panda. Hang on. How do you know that? Pete took some pictures from across the street. <laughs> oh, Pete. <laughs> some of those are from another case I'm working on. Anyway, there's a knock at Rick's door. It's Susan. My water was turned off in the middle of a shower. Can I finish in your apartment? Rick shrugs. A woman in a towel is never a bad thing. <laughs> Susan hides the towel, being careful not to disrupt any of Rick's possessions. <laughs> she also retrieves the panda. At this point, Simone swings into action. Most likely, Rick approves. <laughs> As Simone heads to the bathroom to change into outfit number two, you, my distinguished friend, arrive as a parcel delivery man, looking handsome as a man in uniform always does. Wait a minute. You'll recognize me. No, he won't, because you'll be wearing my father's Oliver North mask. What Oliver North mask? The one he wore to the Iran-Contra protest that no one got because it looked like Dick Clark. Delivery. Now, Rick might be suspicious of a delivery guy, but because he looks like Dick Clark, if he suspects anything, it would be that he's won some sort of sweepstakes. Hang on. Hang on. I wouldn't look like Dick Clark. I'd look like a guy in a mask. 
The point is, you'll be disguised. You can wear what you wore last Halloween. <laughs> I'm a pirate delivery guy? We find a disguise. Anyway, you occupy Rick for a moment at the door. How? Introduce him to your parrot. <laughs> Meanwhile, Simone unrolls the towel and tacks it to the wall. On the reverse side is the flag of Jamaica. <laughs> she sets the fake panda bear in position. When Rick sees the flag, he's confused. At that moment, Simone unveils the Eisenhower head. Rick looks around for a camera, but hey, you're just a delivery guy holding a package. The team reunites in front of the building, they calmly walk to the van and simply drive away. I'm in. Yes! John, how's it going? Two days. Not a puff. Great, great. Where have you been? Rick left. Everyone's in position. Where's your mask? Dharma, I told you a mask isn't going to work. I stopped and picked up this. You're going to be a fisherman? <laughs> Stage makeup. The subtle illusion of character. <laughs> know about stage makeup? For your information, I was in four hasty pudding reviews at Harvard, and in our summer camp variety show, I performed an excerpt from Mark Twain tonight. I got okay, a standing fine. ovation. Oh. Okay. Here you are, ma'am. A quarter? We're acting. You have to make a plea. <laughs> Cheapskate! <laughs> Marcy, that, that's your cue. I thought you really had an itch. Thank you. <laughs> Can I help you? I lost my... Yes? I'm sorry, I can't lie to you. I, I haven't lost anything. Columbus, you just got enough. You make it look real. To what? Brass mint. <laughs> what happened? I'm sorry, I should have told you I'm a terrible liar. Is the part of the delivery person still open? <laughs> okay, fine. Don't lie, but just distract him. Go. <laughs> Simone! Uh, I remember me. We met earlier. Uh, actually, we didn't meet. Uh, oh, I, I, I like your shoes. <laughs> Ma'am, would you like me to call you a cab? Oh, uh, no thanks. Oh, uh, uh, what do you call that? What, uh... An awning? Oh. Hey! <laughs> Dude, your keys got snagged on my sweater. <laughs> I have another idea. It's no good. His keys are in a chain. All I could get was his wallet, his watch, and his nicotine patch. Okay, well, that doesn't really help, and it's kind of mean. Oh, my God! Here, where's Rick? What did he do? Like, one sit-up? I'm gonna go okay. get some wire cutters. No, forget the cutters, the keys. Just get in position. Haiti! 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 Burn the cage! No keys! No keys! Make your move, pretty lady! Make your move! Oh, she's really into it. Oh, Einstein, she's saying we got to get in there somehow. Okay. Here, follow me. Hi, how you doing? Listen, uh, you got a cigarette piece of gum? Yeah, sure. Give it to me. Come on. You had gum? <laughs> Look, we're hustling for the people in 4C, and we need the key. Oh, okay. Look, do me a favor. They're smokers. Give me a pack of cigarettes. Lights, menthol, whatever. <laughs> The reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. So, what do you think? Look, you're a beautiful woman. I'm sure you'll look great in whatever you wear. Maybe I wasn't clear. Okay, there's a good chance you're going to see my breasts. And there's also a good chance that you have a giant boyfriend who will chain me to the toilet and you'll end up with my stereo. 
Dude, maybe you wouldn't be so worried about some giant boyfriend if you spent more than five minutes at the gym. <laughs> hey, okay, call Thama and let her know we're in. All I was saying was that there was a moment during that kiss where it shifted from acting to not acting. One more inappropriate remark and I'm out of here. Why don't I just go in the bedroom, get comfortable, and whatever happens after that's up to you. You're disgusting. How was that disgusting? Panda! 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 Okay, hold on. Where are you going? Some place where somebody wants to see my breasts. <laughs> Can't that wait? <laughs> okay, what are you doing out here? I'm not going to spend one more minute with that pinto and gong gong tui tui gina. <laughs> Pete, what happened with Susan? Why? Is she talking about me? <laughs> Just cover for her. <laughs> what do you think? Too much? No, 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 no. It's the subtle illusion of character. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you, man. I was taking a shower down the hall, and for some reason my hot water went out. Do you mind if I rinse off in your shower? Your hair's not even wet. Hey, let's not make a big deal out of this, okay, buddy? <laughs> Crazy man? Hey, don't. Hey, package. Package. Hey, call the cops. No, Tommy, we have to be invited. Oh, ask him what the phone is. Uh, uh, where's your phone? It's in the kitchen. There's the invitation. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Greg? Not hardly, Junior. <laughs> Open the towel. Open the towel. Show the flag. Thank you, Tommy. Pete. Consider yourself Eisenhower, Junior. Hello, Glory Snow. So long, sucker. This is nice. What is this, Vor? <laughs> Listen, I could do some security stuff if you wanted. Did your slinky make it down all 40 flights? Yeah. And you have to restart it on the landing. Uh, I take some of the fun out of it, huh? Yeah. Hi, Walter. When did you get the croquet set outside? Oh, I can't take all the credit for that. <laughs> Listen, Abby, I know I said we were going to go up to the roof and do it on the heliport, <laughs> but I'm feeling a little guilty about work. You sure? I was listening to Garrison Keeler in the car. Don't worry. Your little prairie home companion will be back later. <laughs> Work too hard. No good God. Playing solitaire is not working late, Edward. If you don't want to see Mandy Patinkin in concert, why don't you just say so? I don't want to see Mandy Patinkin in concert. Well, it's a little late for that now, isn't it? Listen, Ed, I really appreciate you looking out for me, but I just don't think it's right my getting special treatment around here. Okay. Walter, no more special treatment for Finkelstein. Thanks, Ed. Finkelstein, you're fired. <laughs> fired? Anything else, Larry? Edward, dear, we have to go. You're all love to Abby. <laughs> we did it! This calls for champagne. I'll meet you in the bed. You got a big dog. Get ready for the fur to fly. <laughs> Greg? Look. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> what? You can't just leave the head like that. There's got to be rules for re re Eisenhowering. Your butter on the windowsill? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then they're probably, uh... Ducks in the bathroom. Okay. What do we do now? Do? Mm -hmm. We absolutely don't do anything. Dharma, I'm too old for this. No, you're not. It's just what you've been doing with your hair lately. <laughs> you know, there's a time in your life for sneaking busts of Eisenhower into people's dorm rooms, and there's a time in your life for putting that behind you. Says who? Everyone believes that. 
I don't. <laughs> well, if we keep going, it gets pretty crazy. Bring it on, baby! <laughs> hey. You ever done it with an old guy in a room full of ducks? That depends. How many is a room full? <laughs> May I help you? I'm here to apply for the security guard job. <laughs> nice try, Finkel King. <laughs> it was worth a shot. 